し Somebody eating something, but there's no one here. Well, let's look around for it and yeah, see if we can see down. if there's anything in here. Uh -huh. There's stuff right here. Let's look around. Is it? Maybe it's zipping. Look, no, see if it, is it not? not no, it's not zipping. Oh, Hello. Hello. Oh dear. Can you children help me? Did you hear that? Someone needs help. But who? Hi there! <laughs> Hi everybody! Oh, I'm so glad to see you all. But did I hear you say somebody needs help? Help! Oh, oh follow me! Hmm? Down here! Help! Oh, what's that? That's why we need you, Barney. Someone wants our help. But there's no one here. Hmm. Could it be over here? Help! Uh, I think the sound seems Help! to be coming Help! from just about here. Help! Help! Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, that's more like it. <laughs> oh, hello there, Barney. <laughs> Hi, kids. I thought you'd never look down here. Why, it's just my very good friend, Mother Goose. Mother Goose? That's right. And I need your help. Do you hear that chomp chomping sound inside my book? I sure do. <laughs> well, I'm afraid that there may be a bookworm nibbling at my pages. Ooh. A bookworm? Isn't that just someone who likes to read books? Uh -huh. Most of the time. But there's another kind of bookworm that eats books. Oh, no. Oh, yes. <laughs> Barney, would you be a dear and check inside my book? Of course I will, Mother Goose. My pleasure. And just uh, let me open it up here and uh, see what's inside. Oh, 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 oh dear. Oh. There was a bookworm inside, and it chewed up all of the pages. Oh, there goes Humpty Dumpty and Little Boy Blue and Jack and Jill. Oh. Uh, oh now, now, don't be sad. We can make things all better, but it will take a lot of imagination. Barney, will you put my book down on the table? Well, sure I will. Let's see. Oh, there you go. Now, I want everyone to use their imagination. Ooh. That's our favorite game. It sure is. <laughs>
<laughs> so good to see you again. <laughs> Thank you for using your imaginations. Believe me, Sean, that's the best thing to use when things go wrong. How did you know my name? Why, I know all of you. <laughs> Sean, Michael, Min. Why, thank you, Min. <laughs> and Kathy and Teddy. I know every girl and boy who has ever looked inside my book of rhymes. <laughs> Why, I knew your parents when they were little. <laughs> and your grandparents when they were little. Oh, wow. <laughs> Oh, I have loved girls and boys for a long, long time. Oh, I'm Mother Goose, and I'm here to say that I love to talk in rhyme. I've been around for many, many years, for a very, very, very long time. I've been around for many, many years, for a very, very, very long time. fun too. Oh, shucks. Have you been friends with Barney for a long time? Oh, goodness, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my, my, what a mess. That bookworm has chewed up all my nursery rhymes. Mm. Why don't you just write them all down again? Yes. I can make my book as good as new. Sure. But, oh, dear. It's been such a long time, I don't think I can remember all the Mother Goose rhymes I had in here. Mm. I know. We can help you remember the nursery rhymes. Right, everybody? We yeah. sure can. Oh, could you? Oh, oh, this is wonderful. Oh. Here's some nice clean paper to write on. Thank you, Michael. Great. It's right with here's a marker. Oh, well, thank, thank you, dear. <laughs> but I always write with this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> is that all you need? That's all I need. <laughs> now, where to begin? Gee, where do we begin? That's kind of a puzzle. Hmm. That's it. We'll start out with our Mother Goose puzzles. Come on. Oh, to the puzzles. Yeah. Tell me <laughs> all. Hey, diddle diddle. The cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such a sport. Dish ran away with the spoon. Ran away with the spoon. Got it. <laughs> Peter, Peter, pumpkin eater, had a wife and couldn't keep her. He put her in a pumpkin shell, and there he kept her very well. <laughs> Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Oh, maybe the king's horses and the king's men couldn't put him back together again, but you did, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> you certainly did. And you know, I was very surprised that the king let his horses try to put Humpty Dumpty together again. <laughs> but that king was full of surprises. And he just loved 
love to have a good time. <laughs> Which king do you mean? Why, old King Cole, of course. Oh, wow. Oh, look at you. Old King Cole was a merry old soul, and a merry old soul was he. He called for his pipe, and he called for his ball, and he called for his fiddlers three. writing it all down. Oh, this is such a special occasion. Now, I think the next few rhymes in my book were all about things to eat. Mm. That's right. There are lots of rhymes like that. Yeah. yeah. Let's have a make-believe tea party to help us remember. Hey, that's a super duper idea. <laughs> Mother Goose, would you care to be my guest? <laughs> Thank you, sir. Oh. I'd be delighted. Special kind that's lots of fun. 
What is it, Barney? It's called a tongue twister. That's a kind of rhyme that's hard to say out loud without making a funny mistake. Like, um, Peter Piper. Oh, oh that's right. 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 You say it, and I'll write it, okay? Okay. <clears throat> Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, then where's the Piter Peeper pickle? Oh, no! <laughs> Oh, I don't think I caught that last part, Barney. <laughs> Maybe someone else can tell me? Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a pickle... Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh let me try it again. <clears throat> a Peter Piper pecker pickle picker. Oh, no, I'm going oh, 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 dear. Oh, oh, oh. This looks like a job for Mother Goose. <laughs> Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? How watching my hands. Okay. okay? Shut the door. Five, six, pick up 
six, seven, eight, raven straight, nine, ten, a big bug pound. Oh, that was just wonderful. <laughs> Jack and Jill ran up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown. And Jill came tumbling after. Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider. Ooh. And sat down beside her. And frightened Miss Muffet away. <laughs> Little Boy Blue, come blow your horn. The sheep's in the meadow, the cow's in the corn. Where is the boy who looks after the sheep? He's under the haystack, fast asleep. Pickle, pickle. <laughs> Mary, Mary, quite contrary, how does your garden grow? With silver bells and cockle shells. And pretty maids all in a row. done any better. Oh, shucks. Sure. <laughs> Here's some flowers for you, Mother Goose. Why, thank you, Kathy. <laughs> Mother Goose, do you have a favorite nursery rhyme? Oh, oh, oh my. <laughs> I have so many favorites. But these flowers remind me of a rhyme and a game that I haven't thought of in a long time. Oh, oh, yes, yes, oh, yes. Oh, oh, yes. Right, we will. Oh. Here we go round the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush, the Everybody sing. This is the way we wash our clothes, wash our clothes, wash our clothes. This is the way we wash our clothes so early in the morning. This is the way we dry our clothes, dry our clothes, dry our clothes. This is the way we dry our clothes. looks neat and pretty now. Your clothes look just fine. And my book looks just fine again, too. Oh, it's full of Mother Goose rhymes, thanks to all of you. Oh, you're <laughs> welcome. <laughs> what what? That means it's really time for me to go back to my book. Oh, please stay. Oh, no, no. There are so many places I need to be getting to. <laughs> Wherever there are children reading my rhymes or, or hearing my rhymes read to them, that's where I have to be. That's okay, Mother Goose. We understand. Oh, but you will be able to visit with us again, won't you, Mother Goose? Oh, my, yes! Oh, oh, you children can look me up anytime. I'm in the book. Oh, <laughs> the book! Bye-bye. Bye! 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 So long, thanks for coming. Oh, oh. Wow. We've shared my special rhymes, it's true. Now sing me a song that's special to you. Oh, that's easy. I know a song that's special because it's about all of my special friends. And we all know that one. <laughs> we sure do. <laughs>
again to all my friends. I'm glad you came to play. Our fun and learning never ends. Here's what we did today. We sure had a good time with Mother Goose's book of nursery rhymes. In that one book, there were so many fun things to do and so many fun people to visit with. Old King Cole, the three little kittens, and little Miss Muffet. <laughs> Inside that one book, we found stories, games, songs, and lots more. And all it took was our imagination to bring it all to life. And you can bring books to life in your imagination, too. Whether you read the words or have someone read to you. Or even if you just look at the pictures. Books are a lot of fun. Today, take one of your favorite books and look through the pages. Then make believe what it would be like if your book came to life. I just love to use my imagination like that. And you know what? I love you.